everybody, it's Kathy Champion and you're back with me in my craft room and today I thought we would do something fun with this cute little zebra stamp set. The stamp set is so stinking cute and I think I want to do something with um, with this little zebra that's looking back and this one that just looks like he's kicking up his heels and having a good old time. So I'm going to grab those two stamps and those are the two that I have already loaded up on my block. I have this one and this one. We are going to stamp these in some Versamark ink because we're going to do some ink embossing. Um, or um, I said ink embossing. <laughs> We are going to do some embossing. I'm also going to choose, because it's zebra, I'm going to choose some black and white paper to do our mat and our uh, card base out of. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and cut our card base first. And I'm going to cut this down to, um, and this is just the Whisper White, and I'm going to cut this on the 11 inch side at five and a half. And this will give me two card bases, but I only need one, so I am going to score this at four and a quarter. And let's bring the cut blade up, and then we can score with the score blade. And now we have our card, and I want it in the landscape position, so we're going to work with it like that. And now I'm going to also need um, a mat that's going to be four inches by five and one-fourth. So four inches by five and one-fourth. And now that's going to live right on top of this. Now we're going to do one more layer, and this one's going to be a little tricky. Um, I think for the sake of the video, because I'll have to bring over a lot, well, I'm using a different stamp set, and this is not a, a Stampin' Up! This was just something that I had in my stash, and it is actually a zebra stamp, um, background stamp. And I thought, how cute would that be on a piece of white cardstock? And this will mat beautifully, and I have a piece of white right here that we can stamp it on. So we are going to just pull this off like that. I'm going to ink it up right on here, and then I'm just going to place it down like so. So let me go and get this stamped, and then we'll come back, and I will have that piece ready, and we'll start doing our little zany zebras, and we'll have this all taken care of. I'll be right back. All right, we are back, and as you can see, I got this um, zebra print, and isn't that pretty? And look how beautiful it's going to look on this. And I'm thinking I want to do it at an angle, because this is kind of a zany card, and I thought it would be cute to kind of play with our, our shapes. But we're going to lay this over to the side, and the next thing I want to do is just grab some little scrap pieces of paper like this and we are going to go ahead and do some heat embossing. Before I start with the heat embossing I am going to use my little embossing buddy and I'm just going to put down this is an anti-static powder that's in here and it keeps the embossing powder from um, sticking where you don't want it to stick. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up with my Versamark ink and this is a clear ink and it stays wet so it gives you time enough uh, to get your, um, your embossing powder on it before it messes up so or dries. So there's that. I'm sure you cannot see that image because it is a clear image and I'm going to lay that stamp right there. And let me grab another block. Mm, no, that's not going to fit there. So let's grab this one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to dab this in the ink. And then we're going to stamp this one right up here. Because what I want to do is I want to be able to emboss both of these at the same time. And there we go. Now I can see that, but I don't know that you can. Maybe very faintly. 
but you can see it's like a watermark ink. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a coffee filter and my black embossing powder. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it over top of the coffee filter. This is my preferred way of embossing. I love using the coffee filter. And now look at that. Look how well it, it took that um, embossing powder. And now we have two little zany zebras. And I usually just kind of blow it off to try to get any excess that didn't uh, stick, that's trying to stick somewhere else. We're going to put this back into our jar. This is why I like using a, a coffee filter. And I'll lay that back over there and get my top back on this. And I'm going to use a little brush that I have. Um, just to kind of brush this off of here. I don't like anything gritty on my work surface, so I usually have to vacuum or use some little something to get that off because it drives me insane. So now I'm going to take our heat tool and I'm going to turn this on and let it heat up just for a minute, so excuse the noise. And then we're going to heat emboss this. And I want you to watch how quickly this embossing powder turns from being a matte to a very glossy look. So here we go. we have that completely done and look how pretty look see the the sheen on those now I am going to go and fussy cut these out and I'm going to use the little paper snips to do this with um, I don't want to cut um, on camera I think for me it just kind of makes me nervous to fussy cut on camera but when you fussy cut just go around and let your pa move your paper, not your scissors. That is a rule of thumb. These did not come with dies, so if you want to, if you wanted to stamp them directly down, you could do that. But I wanted to accent mine up a little bit, and you'll see in a minute what I had in mind. So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to get these cut all out, and we will be right back. All right, I am back, and as you can see, I got my zebras cut out. But I had forgotten to clean my stamp, so I brought out my uh, stamping scrub, and I all I did was put a little water on it, and I am going to clean and dry my stamps. Look at that. Got all of that sticky ink off because the Versamark is a very sticky ink. It needs to be sticky in order to have the embossing powder to adhere to it. So, um... It does the job, but it does leave your ink, your um, stamps fairly sticky. But now those are cleaned off, and I can put the embossing buddy back. And I do want to sweep my surface off one more time. I am feeling a little bit of grit up here on it. Oops, I didn't want to sweep a zebra away, though. All right, so... Now we have these. The other thing that I want to use is this um, rectangular postage stamp um, punch. 
and this is uh, new in our catalog and this is so cool I'm choosing a red because I love the black white and red combination when it comes to um, doing our little zebras I thought this would add a little bit so what I'm going to do is I want to punch out about four of these and I'm just going to line up that paper and punch and see what this looks like it looks like a little postage stamp with the little edging around it I think these are super cute we have a stamp set that goes with that too that I will be showing you um, some things on so now let's look at our elements we have I went ahead uh, off camera and I punched um, three more of these so we are ready uh, just about ready to build our card so what we're going to do now is I want to randomly place these on our card at just kind of odd places you know maybe here and then maybe one right about there and maybe this one here something like that just to give it a little bit of character now we're going to take this one I don't look like that heat set really good right there on that one edge so let me go back and hit this I'll and that should do it where we don't have any of that powder when I picked it up and touched it right there I could feel that that powder was still loose and if that happens with you just grab your heat tool and go back in with it now what I want to do is I want to put one of the little zany zebras right there and one right here and then I want to go and cut this little sentiment and this comes from the um, Stitch So Sweetly this these ones right here and this one goes right in here so it's that little round one not the smallest but the next size up so I'm gonna go cut that out and we come right back we'll stamp that and put this card together and call it a done deal and how cute is this card coming together I'm loving it so I'll be right back all right we are back and I've got this little piece cut in that adorable it's got the little stitching around it that is so cute and I love these little points I think it just it just looks whimsical like our card so and I've chose the stamp that says you party animal and that comes from that zany zebra stamp set there it is right there and look at that if it's perfect on that little um that little tag so we are going to stamp the so let's stamp right there much better much much better all right so now I need to clean that stamp again so we're going to push that up there and I'm going to go ahead and clean this I love the stamp and scrub it is just an awesome um, tool to have in your arsenal because I mean look at that it's like brand new it never leaves um, the stained stamps or anything like that it really scrubs them well um, and I love the fact that you can use just a tiny bit of stamp cleaner and you can just reactivate it with water which is a great great tip all right so that's going to go in the middle but we're going to pop that up i want to go ahead and start putting the card together so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slide this off and i'm going to use some snail on this and we are just going to go ahead and put this down sure that my opening is in the right spot and it is and now we are just going to put that down just like that giving us that nice little border and now I am going to bring over the other piece I'm taking my zebras off very carefully and this one we want to put down about like this so let's go ahead and get some snail on the back of this And remember. 
remember we're going to do it at a little bit of an angle, so just kind of make sure you've got it angled like you want it before you drop it. Just like that. That looks really good. That's exactly what I wanted. And now this one is going to go like that. So I want to pop these up. So I think I'm going to use some pop dots. And I'm going to use the bigger ones for these. So let's put, and I don't think we need, but maybe one, mm, two, I think two will be plenty on these. So let's go ahead and get it on all of them. And we're just going to put one up in the top corner and one in the bottom corner. And the same thing with this, one in the bottom and one in the top. I think that will give us what we need as far as stability. And one more. And then we got we got to do our little zebras too because we're going to pop them up. Okay, those are all done. Let's go ahead and turn our zebra over and we'll put one there. And maybe one right there. And then one right back there. I think three will hold him down pretty well. So let's grab a couple more. One there. One right there. And one there. All right, and this we're going to also pop up, but I'm, I think I want to do a little something extra with that, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's decide we're going to put one like that, one like that, one like this, and one like that. That look good? I think that'll work. What do y'all think? Now we got to make sure that we can pop this up in the middle, and I think I'm going to use a little something different to pop that up with. So I am going to go ahead and get my Take Your Pick tool. And we're going to pick off our little dimension uh, backers. Just like that. And this one's going to go down about like this. And then this one's going to go straight, or fairly straight. like this. And then this one's going to go straight. I'm just wrangling these over to the side so that I can get them put away after we get the card done. I can just pop those in the trash can. And then this one's going to go at that angle. Yep, that's what I wanted. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to throw this trash away. And now we can go ahead and decide I want this one down here, just about like that. So let's go ahead and take off his little dimensionals. This one, we'll go ahead and get these off too while we're at it. And we want this one looking back because he's wondering what in the world is my little buddy up there doing? There. And he says, I'm just kicking up my heels. I don't know about you, but I'm having a good old time. So now what I wanted to do with this sentiment is I'm thinking I want to ink around the edges. So let me grab my real red ink. We could do it with a marker. 
No, I want a little bit more control. I want to do it with my with my ink pad. So I'm going to grab real red. And I think this is going to be really pretty. And I'm going to get an ink dauber. little piece of scrap paper and I'm just going to tear off. I had made some notes here for another project that I was working on so we'll just use that and we'll put that down and use it just to dab off a little bit so we don't have too much ink but I just want to go around the edges of this and look how cute. These are the little ink daubers that we sell in the catalog. They are fantastic for doing tiny work like this. When you don't need a great big piece, you know, a little ink dauber is all you need. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Oh yeah, that, that gives me exactly what I need. Now I keep my ink daubers in a little um, casing like this. This is one of the um, wood block stamp cases that you can buy the empties. And I just keep them in here like this. And I keep a little cloth in here to just to kind of hold them in place. That one right there, I think I may be getting rid of it. And the blue one, because they are worn out so um, I think I think that works perfectly so now we're gonna we're gonna pop this up but I'm going to do double duty on this so maybe I am going to use these but let me show you what we're going to do to give it some extra height we are going to put four on here but then we're going to take the backer off and then add another one because I want this to sit up above everything else. Well, my little thingies are not wanting to cooperate with me today. That one flew upside down and got stuck in the adhesive. So let's get these corralled and out of our way. And now we're going to go back and put another set of these on right on top of the ones that's here. So let's go here. And here, and then one right here, and one more right there. My husband's doing yard work today, and he's out there. So that's my ring doorbell that you keep hearing buzz. <laughs> I had um, cleared it off, but he is actually cutting some bushes and doing some yard work. So he's back and forth in front of the front door, and the ring doorbell doesn't like it. <laughs> it just keeps buzzing and buzzing. I have put it on timeout a couple of times, but it's all right. It's all good. Now see what happens when we drop this right in the middle. That sits up high enough because we have this on dimensions and this on dimensions. So we needed we needed the um, little sentiment to really be dimensional as well. Now look at that. Is that not a cute card? What we do need to do is we need to put a mat, a couple of mats on the inside to weight it. So I am going to go with the black and then another white. So I need to cut this down to five and a quarter. So let me move some stuff so I can get to my 
my um, trimmer and then we will have this card done and I think for this one I may just leave the inside um, I'm not sure I have real, you know I, I'm so indecisive and y'all know that about me we could we could put you party animal kick up your heels that would be cute and then if we decided to make this a birthday card we could just put happy birthday and it would work so maybe that's what I'll do since I've got you party animal on the outside I think that would work really cute for the inside so we are going to put that mat inside there and we need one more and that needs to be cut down to four and three fourths and three-fourths by let's see four it needs to come back to three and a quarter and all I do when I make my mats is I go down a quarter of an inch so if it's five and a quarter I go down to five and so forth and so on and this will make this a very nice rich looking card look at that I love showing that black on the inside like that I think that's gonna be very pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and use some snail and I'm gonna just go ahead and adhere this to here just like that and then we're going to use some more snail and adhere this to our card just like so and now we can use that stamp and we can stamp um, you party animal kick up your heels going to let's see we need one more stamp block and I think this one right here will work if you have not tried stamping up stamp blocks you really need to purchase at least one and give them a try you will be like me and you will fall in love with them they are so easy to use and so much fun I think I'm going to grab the larger one. That gives me a little bit more leverage to getting this straight. I'm going to ink that up just in the black ink. And then we are going to stamp this right here. And I'll stamp it kind of high so that if I decide to come back and put a um, happy birthday or something else, I'll have room to do that. Kick up your heels. Is that not cute? So now this card is done. And look at that. Is that not the cutest little card? I love it. I think it turned out beautiful. I love the dimensions on it. And I love the zebra print. And it just, it just came together. And I love it. So, there we go with our our little zany zebra stamp set so I will have all of the item numbers listed for you if y'all are interested in going over to my website at Stampin' Up um, please go over and shop with me uh, pick up some of these cute little items and um, I'm sure that you will uh, be amazed at what you can do with the Stamping Up products. They are wonderful. I cannot sing their praises enough. Everything that I have used, I have been in love with. You have a wonderful 4th of July and stay safe, be blessed, and above all, always keep your eyes on Jesus and let everything you do and say bring glory to Him. He is so worthy. So until we craft again, I love you all. Bye-bye.